Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your singles reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. To my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back guys. So we have mature woman, um, true love and passion jumping out here. So I feel like you're going to meet somebody with an age difference, whether you're the mature woman or you uh, meet somebody who's more mature than you, it doesn't really matter in a general reading. But the thing that matters here is that this true love matched with this passion, um, <clears throat> that's what counts. It just seems like um, the age difference doesn't matter to you both here. It's like this connection that you've never felt before, um, comes with this understanding, like soul level understanding that, you know, if you are 50 and you meet somebody who's 30 and like, it doesn't really matter here. There is this understanding that your souls know each other, um, that your souls want to be together. There's this cash, uh, passion here and chemistry that is undeniable um it's pure love and an honest connection that you feel here so this is what we're seeing come towards you this is the kind of love offer that you will receive here there'll be some sort of huge difference between not a sort of difference between you but it doesn't matter to you two okay and that's usually the case in love it doesn't really matter what the heart wants the heart wants right so let's see here sagittarius your single readings okay uh ten of wands you're letting go of other people's thoughts and opinions and you know what they have to say about your life you're letting go of the difficult times to be embraced by this Oh, it's a destined meeting that's why you two are meant to be together here with the star it's a connection that you can't do deny it's an undeniable connection whether you feel like i don't want it or whatever there's just this pull to each other that it can't be denied and it, that ten of wands is that you've had to learn to say healthy no's but this is something that you know is meant to be because you cannot say no to this connection it's like you can't resist each other let's see king of cups yeah because you're ready for that higher love now um you've done this work and you've healed yourself emotionally here so you're ready to give but not overly give um so that's a wonderful thing could be a water sign here coming towards you but i don't really get bogged down with signs in my readings it can be the energy at the season we're in or it can be um the energy of the other person coming towards you or yours so i don't really try to get bogged down with a particular star sign um, but here, the two of swords, indecision will only hold you back. Like if you're telling yourself, look, I feel so strong, but what if it's not this person? What if other people have things to say? That's just delaying the inevitable. So it's like you asked for this love, you prayed for this kind of love, wish granted with the star. What are you waiting for? What are you thinking about here? If you're thinking about anything, it's your own inner fears that... <laughs> with the moon here, it's your own inner fears, that's something you have to overcome, it's just blocking yourself, you might even just be trying to protect your own heart there, as those two swords are crossed across the heart, um, yep, yeah, it's definitely the person you wished for, um, maybe the wish was made so long ago, you don't even remember, because we do plant seeds, right, and then they need time to grow, so here, this is your wish coming true, if I ever saw it, the star mirrored with the nine of cups this love will feel like a wish come true it'll feel um dreamy this is the person you've searched for and this is the person you know that when you're ready for love and you know meeting the wrong person it you can end up pretty scarred in that connection so this is the person that you're meant to now be with here you wished for them uh this person will be great at expressing their love i feel like their love language is telling you like i love you and making you feel loved by their words and the things they say. I feel they'll be great at expressing that. There's a lot of water here. So this person is um, an emotional person that wants to share and give love. Um, and I think that you'll be on the receiving end of this. So it could make you, it could heal inner child issues. If you have never felt loved in your life and things like that, this will be the love, this will be your true love 
that helps you to heal that. Um, let's say we do a lot of healing work on our own, major healing work with the star here. Um, that's the water bearer. So this is major healing uh, that you've been working on in regards to loving yourself and things like that. This will take you that next step in learning how to love and how to give. This will be a deep soulful connection with this person. Um, <clears throat> I definitely feel like it'll come to you as a surprise that this person and you just fall so deep in love that you'll feel like, you know, there'll never be another person like this. Um, this is why I feel with this moon energy that you, you've just never known a love like this. It, it can feel like a sweetheart romance and things like that at times. Uh, very heated and passionate, but also this deep love that's in your soul that you just don't even, you've never recognised that sort of thing before. So this is what sort of love is coming towards you here. The Emperor, I feel like it's to break down your shell and like I said, just to come in and make your life more abundant. You may have even had to lose a few things. Uh, so I believe some of you could have gone through the death of the ego. So you might have wanted to be in a relationship that wasn't serving you and having to lose them in order to allow this person to come into your life, you had to go through understanding all that. So you had to be broken down to be built back up there with the death of the ego. So that could be like, I thought this person would never leave me and they left you. And then, you know, you struggled with that. Um, and then, you know, you learned to uh, not serve your ego, but let your ego serve you. Nine of Swords here. If you're having sleepless nights, um, you can feel their energy coming towards you if you haven't met them yet. It's somebody who is like making plans in their mind like, you know, when I might meet somebody, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So their energy is keeping you up at night because you're the person they are unknowingly speaking about here. If you're overly worried that um, you know, you're never going to meet somebody uh, like this. Your wish has already been granted. Um, so that's not something you need to worry about. Uh, this is unfounded fear uh, with the Nine of Swords, okay? Judgment. <laughs> it's definitely time to meet them, right? Um, like it or not, I feel like it could even be, some of you might just be going through life and not expecting to meet this kind of great love and then boom, here they are. Uh, this is what the judgment is about. It's that, you know, call to judgment that everybody will hear at once in their life, right? Um, for sure that this is divine timing. Now is the time. The star, the nine of cups, the judgment. This is saying we're here. This is true love. This is happening. Um, three of swords. You could have been healing from a broken heart here. Uh, the divine wants you to know this was just growing pain. So everything that happened doesn't mean that love is painful. Um, it means that you had to feel that in order to grow into who you are now and never hate the experiences that, um, made you become who you are because they shaped you. It's like hating yourself. So you had to learn to love yourself here and all that you've experienced and just let go of those people with love and peace, uh, even gratitude because they all help to mould you into this person who is now ready to receive this kind of love. And this is the love you have always wished for. So uh, why would you not be happy about that, right? Let's see. Key, lock, unlock. Okay, so this person, they've already been sent with the key to your heart. So <laughs> there is nothing that uh, will keep them out. They have the key. They know the knowledge, the secret one to get in. So... You could be quite stubborn, like, I'm never going to love again. And then you fall in love with the most unexpected person with the moon. Freedom, action, horse. So uh, let's see. This person will be taking action towards you. And like I say, they have the key. Let them in. Good luck, guys.